Hello, everybody, and welcome to Ready, Steady, Curve. If you need something to jazz up your supper this evening, you've certainly come to the right place. Let's meet our chefs and special guests, shall we? First up, in the Red Kitchen, cooking with chef Phil Vickery, we have the whole B City siren. It's the gorgeous Jay Jacobs. <laughs> And in the green kitchen with Chef Brian Turner, we've got Holby's debonair doctor. Oh, he's the gorgeous Harry Dillon. How are you doing? I'm really good, thanks. Good, How are you? good, good. You certainly uh, sizzle when, especially when you're uh, with Harry, the old doc down there <laughs> on Holby City. Do, do you sizzle in the kitchen normally, though, Jay? Not, not really. I'm not great. Mm. I love it. A bit like a five-year-old trying to cook. Ah. Yeah, so you need you, you need a lot of help, do you? Yeah. Kind Perfect of. man there. Took out your bag. Let's have a look. Go on, give right, me a little shake got? first. Okay. Oh, nice. So Ooh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at this. Oh, so I've got some lush. big posh prawns because yep. mm -hmm. I'd be quite scared to cook them. You're right. Because okay. I'd be scared to kill someone. Um, but unfortunately, because they were a little bit more pricey, we had to stint on the uh, linguine. We had That's to go, fine. you know, this dried stuff. Yep. Um, we've got peppers. I've been growing peppers mm -hmm. recently. Yep. I've got a little red one. That yep. big. It's great. Isn't it? I they loved keep it. coming, yeah. don't they? And they keep sort of, you know, you, you no, only I have one. I just, I just <laughs> it's single pepper. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. You've got to feed your plants, love. You've got to feed right, them. Right, okay. and, they, they, and they give you so much. Well, anyway, don't worry about me. Get on with your ingredients. Um, ginger, because I love it. Mm -hmm. I love a lot of Indian food. Yeah. So I thought we'd just get it in there. Mm -hmm. And a bit of chorizo, look at yeah, that. Yeah, I just thought it looked posh. Oh, that's great. What a yeah. lovely, how, lovely How much bag. is all that, then? £7 and two pence. Wow, well, oh. I think it's a lovely bistro bag here. Thank you. OK, you know, she could have spent £7.50, so bought a little bit of linguine, which I like, actually, Phil. I don't know about you. I like linguine. So, okay, well done. Nice. Yeah, well done, uh, Jay. Lovely bit of bag. What do you think, Phil? Well, wow, wow, where do we start? Gosh, um, I think we'll do prawns. What have we got there? Two, four, six, eight. We'll do prawns four ways. Yeah. So, we'll do deep fried, we'll do pan fried with some spices. We'll do a little tiny linguine dish with a couple of those. We will also do um, prawn and chorizo um, skewers. We'll then do some roasted tomatoes, which will go with some of those, and some into the linguine. We'll, the spring onions will make a hot salad with um, the ginger. ginger, and some of the heads we'll smash up and we'll make um, uh, like a ginger broth to go with that as well, like a Thai sort of soy oh, ginger broth. Does that sound good to you? Yeah. Sound good to you too? Yeah, yeah ladies and gentlemen, it's here for Jay and Phil. <laughs> Howdy, how are you? Very well. Yeah, good to have you here. Now, here's a man who grew up in San Francisco. Yeah. Okay, and of course, now you're over here doing Holby City. Yeah. And what was the food like? Is there, is there, is there much sort of comparison between San Francisco and London? Uh, well, yeah, I think now there is because mm. uh, I, I go to so many great restaurants and even little places. One of the mm. things that's different between San Francisco and London is you used to be able to get great food very cheaply in San Francisco, and I'm starting to find that more and more now. Yeah, in London. So you just got to know the places to go. You just got to know where to go. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, but if you want to pay a lot, you've got to go to Brian's restaurant. That's why I came here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Go on, like, let's, like let's have a look. Like you always do. I, I know, mate. I know you're trying. Oh, you're you're full tune. Off you go, All right, give it a good old shake. There we go. Mmm, tell us what you brought Brian along then, Harry. Uh, I got uh, halloumi, because halloumi reminds me of the first time I was in London, and I came with a friend who uh, took me over to a friend of his, mm -hmm. and they cooked up some halloumi cheese. I got some pork tenderloin, only because yeah. I can never get it right whenever I try mm -hmm. to cook it. Um, and a potato, because that's what you guys do here. Mm -hmm. right? um, and two peaches, because yeah. uh, we've got a couple of builders over, and they uh, say, get a couple of peaches in. So I did for them. Yeah, okay. And, um, <laughs> ear corn. Yeah. Because that always, I love that on the barbecue. And it's, you know, it's a great summertime sure. California dish. And as you call it, a courgette. And how much did all that cost you then? Seven thirty-two. Beautiful. Seven pounds thirty-two. Mm -hmm. Allowed to spend seven fifty. What does our chef Brian Turner think of it? Come on, Bryce. Spill There's the beans. so many things here, but you know the real big problem that you're going to have to help here is right. I'm, I'm a wuss. When it comes to peaches, okay. I just can't stand the skin of it. it makes yeah. me, I'm going cold already just yeah. thinking yeah. about blessed peaches. <laughs> okay. So you're going to have to peel those. So we're going to use that. We'll, we'll, we'll poach a peach. We'll cut them in half, pull the, poach the peaches mm -hmm. with some yogurt. We'll make a souffle omelette with the other one. So sweet. So we've got two little desserts coming up. We've got two great dishes to come out here. Sweet and sour as a whole piece. Yeah. And then we'll do a little uh, a halloumi and uh, pork fillet. Some kind of stewy ragu dish, but n not cooked for very long. Mm -hmm. Ear of corn, we will barbecue some of it, we'll take the uh, little ears off for the other, and the zucchini and the potato. Hey! All kinds of things we the can do with that. The world's We'll find out. Good. All right, Harry and Brian! <laughs>
OK, ladies and gentlemen, you know what happens now. We give ourselves 20 minutes to come up with those fabulous ideas. Is it possible? All is about to be revealed when I say ready, steady, cook. OK, 20 minutes, guys. Yeah, get your hands down. Uh, top. <laughs> the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, <laughs> Ains. The clock is ticking. Always clicking. Oh, clicking, lovely. ticking, clicking. Mm. Right, Ains. I've got to get a bit of a move on here. OK, you carry on, Phil. Right. Now, there's not too bad. We're talking about prawns. And they take a long time to cook these things, do No, they, they don't. And uh, the I would slightly undercook them rather than overcook them. Uh, OK. Uh, purely because the residual heat will finish it off perfectly. And mm -hmm. I think it's a bit like all fish, you know? When you've got things like salmon or cod or whatever... Yeah. As soon as you cook that piece of fish, once the milk comes out, which is the protein coming out, and you can see it, especially on salmon, yeah. it's overcooked. OK. Do this. That's Looking good. Uh, what are you getting out to make here, Phil? Right, we're going to do a little cr sort of cream... Um, uh, Jay doesn't um, is, uh, doesn't eat dairy, so we're going to have a little tiny soya milk pudding. Okay. We're going to have a little soya milk Perfect, pudding with honey, yeah. chopped ginger, yeah. and uh, I always keep some of that at home. I've got a few friends who yeah. go for the dairy stuff. So it's nice. That's exactly. Good. Exactly. Okay, chef. Right, ginger. Well, first mm. of all, we're gonna, as I said, we're going to do these prawns mm. four ways. So, the first two we're going to um, put on skewers, and I'm going to deep fry them. But I'm going to deep fry them in flour, milk, flour, paprika, mm -hmm. and sesame seeds. Okay. So, and be crunchy on sticks. The second two, we're going to stuff in these tomatoes and bake them in the oven. So we'll take out the innards of the tomato, put them in the soup, because I don't like waste. OK. Uh, and the prawns will sit out of there. And bake them with a bit of ginger. A little knife gone. OK. The third um, uh, sets of prawns, we're going to cook with a little chorizo stew with tomatoes, tomato ketchup. Yeah. Make a very, very intense ginger sauce. I love that chorizo and prawns. And the last two, we're going to linguine. Yeah. So we should have four little dishes. OK, and, and a couple of minutes food. gone already. So, uh, do you get time to cook? Quite honestly, Jay. Not much. I right. pretty much just have cereal during the week. But I do mm. I do like cooking, so I try and do it the weekends and stuff. Sure, sure, sure. I'm, I yeah. like baking more than cooking. So what would you like to learn today? You've got, you know, you've got a professional chef there. Is there any tips or there's some one particular thing you want to go away with and you think, yeah, I now know how to do that? Well, I wanted, because I'm dairy-free, I wanted yeah. to know about kind of soy milk and stuff and what you can do with it. And so a cream, I've, I've got to be honest, mm. it's this. It's not looking its best at the moment. OK. But I know Phil is going to make it look oh, amazing. Phil's done books amazing. and stuff on that, yeah. uh, that subject, <laughs> honestly. You, you, you're in safe hands here. Yeah. Phil, I'm just going to pop down the other yeah, end. No I'll come back. No look at that, ladies and gentlemen. The simplicity of that. The little tail there of the fish that sort of popped inside the tomato. Something that you all could, re could recreate at home. Yeah. So think about that. OK, let's uh, go down and see how Brian's getting on. We've got pork fillet down there with halloumi cheese can be very, very rubbery when it dries out, so you need to serve it warm so you get that nice, soft, creamy texture. I didn't know you speak Japanese. Yeah, get out of here. I'll give you Japanese. Now, tell me what you're doing here, right, then, I'm just going to chop this up. You're quite right. It is one of the... It's a, quite an interesting cheese, is this. So mm. we're going to grill those whole. It stays whole, that's a nice thing. Then I'm going to pan-fry these pieces to go with our little salad. Mm -hmm. So we've got a chowder on to start with. Yeah. So we've got some um, onions and sweet corn in there. I've got sweet okay. corn on that's already uh, starting to, to barbecue here, so it actually have a bit of Lovely. nice butter on there. We've got the peach thing cooking, touched by Harry over here, uh, and we've got in there cardamom seeds, vanilla, sugar mm. and water. We've got a nice syrup coming up there. OK, beautiful. And we're on our go. Right, now, if you can peel that yeah. for me, please. Bit of potato and courgette. Great. Right. Harry, do you get much time to cook? Well, I'm kind of like Jay, same thing. It's hard Just to cook, you know. You cook and talk at the same time. Oh, right, okay. Where's my peeler? Where's my peeler? Yeah, it's it's down here. Give me the peeler, chef. Yeah, th uh, there we are. We've got, we've got loads of peelers. If we get, he's got 101 nice. knives, you know. Yeah. There we are. Yeah. There we are. Uh, I had 102. Yeah. Can you just count them, please? Yeah, I'll give yeah. you 102. <laughs> So, who, who does the cooking? You live with your partner, you've got a little young daughter? Yeah, we have a little young daughter. I mean, we try to cook. Mm. Uh, we certainly try to, you know, cook like a nice meal every evening, and that's mostly Lara. But uh, on the weekends, I like to get in, either if it's nice weather, have a barbecue or, yeah. you know, whatever, try to cook something on a grill. So, it just depends on our time, really. Sure. We're talking about a probably one of the most uh, artistic and creative cities oh. in America, being San Francisco. So, what a place to grow up in, Harry. Yeah, it was fantastic. It was mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, I kind of thought the rest of the world looked like that for a long time mm. uh, until, you know, I kind of went back to India when I was younger and it was, um, it was great because, you know, you get, it's a, a city where mm. there's so many different cultures, Chinese, sure. Vietnamese. If you grate that, I mean, yeah. the 